This beautiful, majestic creature could kill you in a matter of minutes. But you didn't know that, so you decided to touch it. Now that excruciating pain you feel is its powerful venom entering your body. You're dizzy and about to faint, but you keep swimming back to shore. Because this creature doesn't travel alone, there could be 1,000 more of them coming your way. Here's how to survive a Portuguese man of war. This critter got its name as it resembles an 18th century Portuguese warship under full sail. The man of war is a type of siphonophore, a colony of multiple, genetically identical individuals living together to form a whole. And all members of a man of war work together as a killing machine. Its tentacles contain capsules that fire darts loaded with a potent, fast acting poison designed to capture fish. In humans, it can cause welts on the skin. If you're allergic, you could have a severe reaction and die. Why shouldn't you pour fresh water on the sting? Why are man of war so dangerous in the summer? How could a glove save your life? Step one, don't move. Although a Portuguese man of war sting causes an enormous amount of pain, don't start thrashing around or you could make it even worse. This creature's tentacles can be as long as 50 meters. The more you move, the more likely you are to get entangled in its tentacles and stung by the barbs. Too many stings can cause you to go into anaphylactic shock, a life-threatening condition caused by a severe allergic reaction. To avoid that, slowly move away from the man of war. Step two, beware of the summer. It's summertime. You're ready to jump into the sea and have some fun, but slow down. Before getting into the water, check local beach reports and warning signs for the presence of man o' wars, especially during this season. They reach full maturity in summer, so that's when their venom is most powerful. In the summer of 1987, a 67-year-old woman was exposed to almost six meters of a Portuguese man o' war's tentacles. After it stung her, she stopped breathing and the blood stopped flowing to her brain and organs. Unfortunately, she died. Step three, use vinegar. Pouring fresh water on the wound might be your first instinct, but that would only make things worse. You just got out of the salty ocean. If you pour fresh water on your wounds, the change in salinity will release the venom still in the tentacles. Instead, rinse the wounds with salt water or vinegar. That will inactivate the stingers and prevent them from releasing more toxins. Step four, wear gloves. Now it's time to pull the tentacles off your skin. They might be difficult to spot and remove, but do your best to do it carefully. Never touch the tentacles with your bare hands. Wear gloves or something that could protect your skin against those venomous barbs. Step five, apply heat. In 2017, experts at the University of Hawaii Manoa discovered that after you put your wounds in vinegar, you'll need to apply heat. Put the wounds in 45 degrees Celsius water or apply a hot pack for 45 minutes. This will help inactivate the venom that's already in your body. If you develop shortness of breath, chest pain, and weakness, you'll need to seek medical attention right away. You just survived getting stung by a Portuguese man o' war. If you thought that was bad luck, how about getting bitten by one of the cutest marine creatures? This tiny thing has enough venom to kill 26 human adults. But you're not going to be one of them because everything you need to get out alive is right here on How to Survive.